ça. Hello, Five Six T. Today, my assignment it's on drums. Now, the reason I chose to do my assignment on drums is because I play it, and I have a kit of my own, which is an electric kit, which means I get to play a lot of different sounds on it. I've been playing for about three years now, and I mostly enjoy doing it because it helps me with coordination. I get to keep a beat, and I really enjoy playing the songs. The history of drums. Drums are the world's oldest musical instrument, and the basic design has remained virtually unchanged for thousands of years. Several factors determine the sound a drum makes, including the type, shape, size, and construction of the drum. Different types of drums have different uses in music, and modern drum kits can be made up of snare drum, bass drum, and toms. When combined with cymbals, these make up the modern drum kit we hear every day in music. Of course, the parts of a drum kit can only be heard if you hit it hard with a drumstick. Drumsticks are made out of wood and come in different lengths and thicknesses. Drums may be played individually, or drums can be combined with cymbals to form a modern drum kit. Many of the different parts of the drum kit were made in different periods of time, but the first drum kit was formed in the 1920s. The drum kit was formed in New Orleans, Louisiana, which is in the United States of America. Unlike today, the world's first drum kit only had a bass drum, a cymbal, and a snare drum. The snare drum. The snare drum is arguably the most popular drum, with it mostly being used to keep the beat in orchestras, marching bands, and parades. It was invented in the 1300s and has a sharp staccato type of sound. The bass drum. The bass drum is the largest drum in the kit. It is normally played by a pedal hitting it but can also be hit on the side with a stick. It was invented in the 1900s and has an indefinite or low definite pitch. The bass drum is also used in every single music genre, but mostly in pop, rock and jazz. Lastly, Turkey is where the bass drum originated from. The hi-hat. The hi-hat is also a very important part of the drum kit, with it consisting of two cymbals placed together, also with a pedal which opens and closes the hi-hat. It was invented, invented around the 1930s and is used in many different music genres. The toms. Toms are a key part of the drum set because not only is there one, but regularly there are three toms on a drum kit. Toms were added to the drum family in the 1930s. The tom drums sound similar to a bass drum, but more open and have a longer sustain. Lastly, toms are used in quite a lot of different music genres, but mostly in rock and heavy metal, but I personally use them a lot in fills. The crash cymbal. The crash cymbal is one of the most unique parts of the drum kit, with it having an explosive sound with the impact of a drumstick. It was made in the 1600s in some part of Europe. It is made with two domed plates made out of bronze or sometimes silver. The ride cymbal. The last main part of a drum set is the ride cymbal. The ride cymbal is very similar to the crash cymbal, but a dip, bit different with it having a different sound and origin. When it hit, it has a sustained shimmering sound and was invented in some parts of Asia around 300 BC. Okay, now I've shown you all the parts of the drum kit. Now, what we're going to do is combine them all to make a song. So sit back, relax, have some popcorn, and enjoy the awesome show.